So in today's video, I'll be creating what will most likely become an unraidable base. My faction has over 2,000 STR, so we ended up claiming a base, and I've been doing a lot of grinding for money, and so I've got upwards of 20 million coins. That means I can buy a lot of obsidian wall generators, and with enough of those, our base will become nearly unraidable. Anyways, I've got to explain what our faction has done so far for the base, how we ended up getting one of the corner claims, and well, after that, we gotta do a lot of base work. Anyways, before I start, if you guys are not subscribed, please consider subscribing subscribing it would greatly help me out i'm trying to reach 7,000 subscribers but anyways i hope you all do enjoy this video and let's get started anyways so where i'm at right now is our faction base now currently these are all of the walls that we have in place and yes, we do have a corner claim. We got a wall right here, as well as right here. Anyways, we are eventually going to be filling in all of these walls with obsidian. We have a couple of people already working on it right now. But anyways, we've got some really big plans for this base. But before I do any more work on the base, I should say I probably maybe did like 5% of everything we did for this base. I wasn't really able to be active too much for the past few days, and that's when we started working on this base. But my faction has been grinding. In a previous video of mine where I showed off a TNT cannon, I tried to raid this exact same corner, and there was a huge titan base there. It used to be Tincho's claim, but for a little bit, I had leader of their faction, and when Tincho wanted his faction back, I asked him if we could keep the corner claim, and he said sure. And so with that, I unclaimed the base, we claimed the base on the main faction, and now we own a corner claim. That means this base will be possibly hit a lot more, but I mean, considering what happened last season, as soon as someone has a TP to the base, pretty much the whole server does. Our entire faction started mining out the old Titan that was there. There's no more custom TNT, so it ended up taking quite a little bit of time. I wasn't really on to do any of the work, though, so I, I gotta give a huge shout out to my faction for doing that one. Anyways, we then mined out this entire area, getting rid of all the cobblestone, and I was there to help with a little bit of this. Anyways, we've now been starting to work on the actual Titan base. This is gonna be the main part of our base. We'll probably end up dividing this into, like, different rooms and stuff, but we still have a lot of walls to make. Anyways, our claim does actually extend for a lot more this way. We probably will end up breaking all of these blocks later, but for now, we just wanna start making our actual Titan base. Anyways, I think I've done enough rambling on- I'm sure I've filled you guys in enough. Now it's time we can start actually working on the base. Now I went to the shop and for like two or three million coins, I bought two and a half stacks of obsidian wall generators. I did actually end up buying more. I got this entire area filled in with obsidian, but there is still a lot more we need to do. To be on the safe side, at the world border, I will be filling in another layer with obsidian just in case someone can find like some sort of glitch to get into our base. I want to make sure no one can do that. Anyways, I'm going to get all this obsidian placed and I'll see you when I'm done. And that obsidian went way quicker than I thought it would. There's still a lot I need to do. Also, there is a couple of things we need to do. Because we are on a world border, I need to kind of, like, clean up this corner area here. It doesn't really look the most clean at the moment. There's a lot of, like, missing holes, and I just, I want to make it look clean. Anyways, I'm going to finish up cleaning up all these walls here. I also have to do it on the other side. But I, I want to make sure no one can, like, find any glitches to be able to get into our base. But, like, there's no way you can ever get past this wall here. And there we go. Until we decide to add more walls to our base, I've got obsidian along this entire layer. Basically, now there's no, like, small holes where people can, like, get through in our defense. Next up, though, I also do have to do this side. First up, I'm just gonna break this entire area because all of these blocks are just not really good. I did have them placed so that I could get rid of all this water from just flowing into our base. But now that we're actually spending some time on a defense, I should probably get rid of them. Now next up, I'm just going to place an entire line of obsidian just so I know like where I'm building up from. Now we just do the same thing we did on the other side. And there we go. We finally finished both of the walls completely flat at the world border. There are no empty blocks in that area. Now, all we have to do before we can officially call this a Titan base is finish this final obsidian wall here. Now, this probably isn't the smartest play, but I'm going to end up buying, oh, I'd say maybe like uh, three stacks of obsidian wall generators. Once again, definitely not the smartest play. I, I went from 17 million to 13 million. Honestly, though, I've got a lot of money that I can spend and I really need to finish this base. Thank you. 
Anyways, I've almost finished the entire back wall. I would maybe use obsidian wall gens on this. I'm only getting like half of the obsidian per obsidian wall gen in. So what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm going to be using these obsidian wall generators to finish up this final wall on the titan. That means if there is enough obsidian generators here, we will officially be able to put stuff in our base without having to worry about it just getting easily yoinked. And now all we need is just a whole bunch more obsidian to finish up this final area as well as to finish up this area. Now one other thing I want to test out is horizontal wall generators. If they do in fact work, then I can fill this entire area with obsidian. Anyways, I'm gonna purchase about like, I think this is four stacks of obsidian, and then I want to test out these horizontal wall generators. Just so I don't waste too much though, I'm only gonna buy eight of them to begin with. I mean, I don't even know if these things work. And finally, our entire base is covered with obsidian. Now, I really don't know how these floor generators work, so just to test it out, I wanna just place one like maybe right here. Oh, oh, okay. So it looks like they're gonna end up going this way and yeah there we go now this means i can completely fill this area with obsidian i'll probably end up hand covering this area but i'm not gonna let anyone raid this thing from the top now i also do have all of these wall gens but at the moment i don't really have that good of a use for them so i'm just gonna fill up this entire wall with it And wow, this base is really coming together. Anyways, there's a lot we need to finish, but the first thing I wanna get done is filling this entire area with obsidian. I'll start off with like, eh, three stacks or so. Now, whoa, I just kind of realized something. So I've been going to the shop and mostly just buying like obsidian and obsidian generators. But I just realized, unless you're trying to fill less than eight blocks, it's more worth it to buy a 16 wall gen just to fill eight blocks than it is to buy eight obsidian. Every single piece of obsidian costs 2,500 coins. And for a single 16 wall gen, it only costs 20K. That means rather than me buying just like obsidian and placing it here, I should be buying a horizontal obsidian wall generators. Not sure why it's more worth it, but like, I guess, I guess it is. Here goes another three stacks. Now all I should need to finish up this entire area will be like 48 more obsidian wall gens. Of course, that is just like an estimate. I'm not exactly sure how many I'll need, but I think it's gonna be perfect. And oh, I was just off. It's fine, we got obsidian, we can just kind of fill it in the normal way. And now, if anyone wants to get into our base, they're gonna have to go through a lot of layers of obsidian. I mean, you might as well just give up at this point. Anyways, this base is coming together quite nicely. So, quick update on the base. They finished this top part, and in here is just gonna be filled with water. We did leave the backside open, and for one specific reason. If they manage to get TNT in, rather than it just being like bouncing off the edge and going straight down into our base, it's just gonna go straight out past the world border, and it's not really gonna be able to do anything from there. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some water from the shop, and we're gonna fill up this entire area with water. Thankfully, they cost close to nothing, so I'll just get a full inventory. Anyways, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all of this area filled with like a small layer of stone, and using this, I should be able to make an infinite water source in this entire top layer. This will be one of the best bases on the server. And oh, I think I have the perfect amount of water buckets. Literally, all of these perfectly fill the area. Anyways, next up, what I've gotta do, I've gotta fill this area with cobblestone. Basically, that allows the water to spread and form an infinite water source. Anyways, we're just about done covering this entire area with cobblestone stone. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna be able to make sure that all of this water completely fills. Oh, actually, I can use F5 mode. That'll work. Now, all we have to do is just simply wait for this entire area to be filled. Alright, it looks like everything is finally finished. This is gonna be kind of satisfying watching all the water flow down. Keep in mind, though, this is just one of many of the defenses we will be using. Anyways, all we have to do now is just wait for this water to completely flow down. And, oh, just in time. The server is, like, literally about to reset. I think if it would have reset before we get all this water flowed. I feel like it would probably would stop flowing if the server reset. And perfect. I think everything is good. This looks toxic. 
Anyways, there's one thing that I've always wanted to do on a base that I've quite literally never done. I'm going to attempt to make base art. What I'm going to try to do is put a massive A on top of our base. That stands for the first letter of our faction. Oh my days. What are you guys doing? I've got the entire boys on me. This is so dumb. No, I'm gonna lose like everything. No, this is, this is so dumb. Yep, I'm dead. There goes my items. Wait, what? I lived. No, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I lived. These people are so... Oh, you just really gotta sneak up on me like that, really. All right, let's finish up this base art. It's been way too long, and I finally found a relatively good design that I honestly think will work. All right, so this is the overall design that we have for the base. But now I have to make this look, I mean, slightly better, you know? And there we go. We finally made the A seem a little bit more, like, detailed. Anyways, we still have a lot more obsidian we need to fill up in this area. It will probably take us a while. But I think for now, I'm kind of done building my base. Anyways, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. For some reason, I'm, like, glitched at spawn. None of the perms are working. I really don't know what's happening right now. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. And, well, I'm going to try to get unstuck from spawn. <laughs>